Yet another feather in the cap for the continent's elder statesman. The appointment is seen as an endorsement of Mugabe's handling of political affairs in his country, which started with delivering a new constitution and winning a peaceful election in 2013. Many here think this marks the end of the Zimbabwe crisis, which had topped the agenda at previous AU summits. It's an opportunity for him uh, to do away with the bad image that he has uh, 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 defined Zimbabwe and himself for the past 10 years and show leadership in terms of uh, promoting the interests of Africa going forward. For many, Mugabe is the ultimate pan-Africanist and a champion of black economic empowerment. His fight for the rights of Africans has previously put him on a collision course with the West, but now even his former foes are warming up to him. Both the EU and United States have said they are ready to fund the ZANU-PF government directly, bringing an end to over a decade of acrimony and setting the tone for future interactions with Africa's new point man. They are going to reach out because there is no way that they cannot uh, involve Africa in issues uh, to do with the international community. Judging by the content of his acceptance speech, Mugabe is intent on ensuring Africa gets its just desserts from its land and other natural resources. In just a few weeks from now, that 90 will become 91 when President Robert Mugabe celebrates his birthday. And that will cap off a pretty memorable year, one in which he first took the reins at regional level and now the whole of Africa. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.